if that doesn't get your blood pumping. The Estadio Nacional, Julio Martinez Pradanos, ready for action. Take a look at our starting lineups. It will be Barcelona in the back against Barcelona up front. An ex-Barcelona man leading the way for Chile with Alexi Sanchez in a bit of a slow run of form for Arsenal, but it's a new look, Ray. Gone the 3-3-3-1 in a 4-2-3-1 under Juan Antonio Pizzi. Yeah, being a little bit conservative here, missing, of course, the Bayern Munich midfielder Arturo Vidal and Eduardo Vargas in Valdivia. Valdivia, excuse me, a big misses. No Alan Greece either. So there's a different change, a different look altogether to this Chilean side, and this is what the Albi Celeste go with. Look at that front line, but look at the back. 4-3-3, some changes. Mercado, well, he was in the wilderness, called in by Maradona a decade ago, it seems, but resurgent under River Plate, and now joining Otamendi and Funes Mori on that back line. But it is the return of Lionel Messi. And Sergio Romero, who still can't find a starting gig, Still one of the best goalkeepers in South America. Yes. The two captains, the two teammates. Certainly a big gun keeping out Sergio Romero at Manchester United, of course. And good sense of humor between the teammates, exchanging pleasantries. But it'll be purely all business once the ball starts rolling and the serious face and countenance comes into effect. This should be absolutely wonderful football. A thank you to our sponsors, Napa and Cricket, Ford, and all the rest of these wonderful sponsors for helping us bring you this action. A moment of silence before we get underway. Of course, today, a day that brings sadness around the world of soccer with the passing of Johan Cruyff. But there's also a moment of silence for the victims of the terror attack in Brussels. But first, before they get to that commemoration, a commemoration of a happier sort, Claudio Bravo about to earn his 100th cap for Chile. Marvelous, 32 year old and still at the top of his footballing tree, and it is a Sequoia, the ex Colo Colo man that we were privileged to cover when he was with Real Sociedad, Phil. Just a top-class, international-class goalkeeper. And he'll be looking to earn his corn here today against what is inarguably the most greatest, most fearsome forward line in world football. Eber Lopez, the Brazilian referee, and all Brazilian crew. Marcelo Fangasse, Rodrigo Correa running the lines, Rafael Klaus, the fourth official, and the American football like huddle. One last moment to go over the details. Well, it's been a sad few days for all of us around the world after the Brussels. And we are underway. Chile in the red and blue, defending the goal to the left. The Albi Celeste, the sky blue and white. Familiar stripes of Argentina attacking from right to left. Bravo under pressure early from Aguero. Token pressure, though. Bangs it long and a collision head to head, or at least elbow to head. So Ever Lopez stops play. Did not want to take any chances and a drop ball to get things started again. Argentina coming in here after beating the Colombians 1-0 last time out after getting in a bad series of form and results really by their standards, Phil, but they did not have their inspirational number 10 as we see the lineups again. Brought to you by Cricket. First minute completed. Barcelona pushing. Angel Di Maria. 
into the middle. Touched by Bidia, but unable to control it. And now Chile off to the races. A tackle by Rojo that draws a whistle and a few more from the crowd. Well, nicely handled by this man in the middle as Matty gets off and takes off nicely here, looking at his options. It's not such a bad tackle with his left foot, but the right one comes across and clips him at full pelt. Interesting to see how Pizzi's men adjust their shape and form after Sam Pauli produced an absolutely imperious football and togetherness team, Phil, that struck you vertically at warp speed. We'll see how much it is adjusted against a team that is lethal themselves on the counter-attack like this. Aguero, help left and right, flips it wide. Charging forward, Banega will get there, but not much to do but retreat. The mighty might, Marcelo Diaz, able to force him back in Argentina. Surprised retreats. the ball went out to the right side and not the left here. Angel Di Maria one-on-one. -on -one. I would have thought that would have been the favorite pass. And as Mori grew up in Dallas, his brother winning that MLS reality contest. But it's Ramiro who's on the national team now. Another player down. You wonder it is Mati Fernandez and he took that hit early, and you almost wonder whether he's a little woozy, but he seems to be pointing to his groin muscle. Might have pulled something. And this is a big blow. Remember, he's out there replacing Valdivia. And now they, it looks like they might have lost him just three minutes in. Oh, was there a twist in that challenge? I'm not so sure that it's a area high up, but you can see that's where they're looking, Phil. The groin muscle as he turned. He was just clipped at full speed and maybe a jarring motion, but it looks like he's done for the day now. It's a sad exclusion, the Fiorentina man, one of the favorites here, 29 year old now. We've seen him grow up at Villarreal. Phil, a lot of the time started at Colo Colo, another Colo Colo player, but sad exit for Chile. Well, another drop ball, and this is not the way Pizzi wanted to start things out. Well, it's certainly good news for Argentina to take the cynical look. Nice ball. Into Ooh. the area, but well defended. Back to Bravo. Look at the midfield, and you try and figure out what they might and Mati have Fernandez to do. looks like he's going to try to give it the old college try and come back in. Look out. Headed back safely. Is Mori pinching over to cover for Otamendi. One of the players that's really settled into English football rather nicely, Ramiro Funes Mori with Everton, the ex River man. Been gaining some really good plaudits, especially the way he started out on Merseyside. He's had his sketchy moments as well. Oh, he's in! A chance now for Di Maria. Weaves his way back, but just a stride late on the pass through. Guero seemed to have an opening. Now out quickly the other way. Great ball. Chance with space, and Wonderful. it's Isla. From Suarez. The Marseille man Great chips, ball. but sails all the way over Mena. The two wingbacks can't quite combine. But it was offside anyhow, but beautiful from Electric Sanchez again. Showing his absolute world-class prowess and he's up and down here like a yo-yo Matty and sad eyes tells the story he knew this was his chance again Valdivia unavailable Fernandez had been forced into a supplementary role of late now looking to the bench two relatively untested players Fernando Meneses the midfielder from Veracruz ex-Colo Colo and Catolica man 
and the younger Brian yes. Raveo, the 21 year old out of Rancagua. That'll really test you that, that stretch there, right when he got back into the action. And if it was a little pull before, he's probably just made it worse. And I thought this would be the guy, Francisco Silva, comes in. The Chiapas man, Phil. Another Mexican based midfielder, but he's more of a defensive mid. So this will likely push Marcelo Diaz up a bit, but it's a very defensive look to Chile now. Lose Mati goal, you lose a lot. Certainly. Before he's even taken a free kick. Yeah, great invention, wonderful vision and touch. Uh, the Viola man, but he's gone now. And Chile's problems continue, but it's been a nice start for them. First five minutes, but certainly the evident threat from the Albi Celeste had one or two opportunities. I'm not sure that they played the right card out of their hands in those opportunities. So maybe Chile have caught out Argentina on a bit of an off night. Way too early to tell. Out of Tamena. Of course, Messi not had a real touch of it yet. Chipping it in, oh. flipping it over Gutierrez. Wonderful ball played into Felipe. And he leaves his defender, peels off him like skin on a tangerine. And Sergio Romero asking questions. It's a beautiful ball by who else? The Arsenal man plays an imperious pass. The run is dictated by Felipe Gutierrez. He is found, but can it adjust his gyroscope quick enough with that left foot? But he was in. Guerrero screaming for the ball. It will come down at his feet. Tries to roll it around the substitute Silva. Getting a little push from Hara. Forward for Sanchez. Alexis down the line. Otamendi bursting to get there. Bosa yeah! inside. And he splits the two attackers. Alexis just couldn't get on the receiving end. Still back. Oh. Blasted low but wide of Romero's net. Wow. How the scout the chaos in this Argentina back lane and the midfield being undone, undressed by Chile. Pizzi's men come out with the creative passing movement. And then this hammer blow from Silva, who's just, well, that's basically his first touch. Some lovely invention, though, Phil, and it's all coming from the Arsenal man, predominantly Silva. Alexis Sanchez. Gutierrez chasing it down in the corner. Otamendi forced to clear it away. A wonderful running off the ball. It's got a heart and Juan Antonio Pizzi coming out with the right attitude in the first 10 minutes. La Roja. They are looking caliente. Another burst forward. With help out wide, the Haitian nice sensation, Beausejour, oh. but a weak cross off his left. Trying to spin away Messi. Second oh. effort makes Brilliant. the defense disappear. Magical. Messi, it's 4v3 to the inside. Di Maria, oh. but high. Well, one man band. And it's a hell of a Beatles show that Messi puts together down that right-hand side. He emasculates them individually, and then one after another as his defenders come crashing in on Lionel. And it's an astonishing run at warp speed all the way down that dead ball lane and playing the right pass. When it comes to Di Maria, his first touch tries to sell it, but it bounces up, and he's got to take the swing at it just as it's teed itself up beautifully and he blazes it over the top. Chile again pushing forward. No Mati goal, so in some ways maybe a bit harder to figure out where the attack is coming from. It's Slotted a good in ball. by Isla. Oh. The tackle from Funes Mori out for a corner. And again, Ramiro comes in and he's got to get his size nines converted into a size 10 here. Isla's pass is almost pixel perfect. And that is a tremendous cutout from the ex-Riva man. This will swing away from Romero, 29-year-old, with his 71st cap. Driven to the middle, oh! headed down and buried! The goal for Gutierrez! Felipe Gutierrez has given Chile the lead! The substitute rises like the Loch Ness Monster here, and he punches this home! With a big knuckles, header, power, placement, the lot. Again, the defending is poor. 
His men attack this wonderfully. His midfield being absolutely overrun. Planavita, Banega, and Biglia nowhere to be seen on the approach. And then this set piece again is poorly defended, Phil. There's two players running on there for La Roja. If it, Gutierrez doesn't get it. Gary Medell is naked behind him. One nothing. For Pizzi's men, and this crowd were on fire before. They are absolutely incendiary now. Reflected back into the waiting arms of Romero. I guess Pizzi's honor defended a huge goal, not just for Chile, but for their boss in particular. It was threatened, wasn't it? This didn't come against the run of play at all. In fact, it just confirms and compounds the authority that Chile have started this game with. There was some wonderful invention ahead. And it was just Messi's genius that one time that really opened the door for Tata Martino's men and Di Maria not able to catapult his shot home. Felipe Gutierrez shows how it's done. And there's Mori out to the near side. Gutierrez his fourth goal in his 27th appearance for the 25-year-old from Fente. Offside the call. Good look at Pizzi. 47-year-old from Santa Fe, Argentina. He started out this game so confidently, Phil. And now they've had more wind fed into their sail. Again, with a weakened team. Some of their world-class stars, likes of Vidal and Vargas. Valdivia, they're not being missed. Sweep to the inside, looking for opening Orellana, the Celta winger. Get the space clear. again. Driven by Mena. Argentina starting out this qualifying slow. Seem to have found their form. Return of Messi. But Chile doesn't care. Poor ball out the back from in that midfield area from Lucas Bilia, who's really, his head is turning around. Like Linda Blair and the Exorcist, he doesn't know where this team is coming at him from, and he's not getting much support. You saw the look of consternation in Tata Martino's men on his face. His men are really like marbles on a granite table top. The front three have got holding their positions, but they're being overrun in midfield. Mena and Isla pu pushing on from their wing-back positions without fear. And that's brave in itself when you're playing up against Kun Aguero, Messi and Di Maria. Look at this again. Pulled away by Alexis, leaves it behind for Orellana. Oh! Almost to Beausejour, but they were on different pages. The wonderful pass attempted by Fabian Orellana. The Celta Vigo man tries to arrow that just a foot short. One against five here. But the one is Aguero trying to spot the trailing run of Messi dispossessed. Good from Francisco Silva, the substitute. The choice of substitute, the choice of call-ups, and again, hampered perhaps by injuries. Good call. A nice diagonal across to Isla. It's the electing to go more defensive. But it's all the more impressive, Phil, seeing that Chile came into this game in a bit of a downward bend. Losing that game against Brazil and winning that one against Peru. After winning against Brazil, excuse me. Since those two games, and that was a hard battle against Peru in that 4 3 game, they've been in a bit of a decline. But here tonight, they're really shining. The draw Four. against Colombia, the defeat, 3 nothing at Uruguay. Yep, there's that team. It's nothing like this say here now. Look at the confidence and the availability of every player on the move and the play, the dangerous passes. They're chancing their arms beautifully. Mendy forced to pass it back. Be in sports.com for all the latest. Conmebol qualifiers, CONCACAF as well. U.S. about to 
take on Guatemala tomorrow. You can catch that on BN Sports and even African Cup of Nations actions tomorrow. Check out BN Sports Connect. It's wall to wall qualifying. Tata Martino there, very animated in his technical area, trying to bring that back four together and that midfield three back onto them closer. But this team in red still finding the way through. This crowd is so spoiled in the Copa America with the brand of football that they played and really not many people would have expected such a sterling start against the hungry Argentina team. Down in the midfield, a hard hit. Diaz slow to get up. The Argentine Aye. fans think they should have continued to play. This one's another bad injury by the looks of it. The 29-year-old Santa Vigo man in real distress by the looks of his face and he's not kidding Messi was a little annoyed that that break was allowed to come back now again the goal the referee is supposed to allow play to continue unless it is a head injury although it is up to the referee and in his discretion he could sense it was serious enough yeah you're right Phil if it is an injury to the other part of the body and this is what Messi's having a conversation with the man in black about here it is Viglia Benega turns beautifully and there's the stretch out and that's right in front here's the stretch to try to come across and he feels it go right there and I don't think it was play acting he has played so well in Germany at HSV for a while as you mentioned just transferred over to Celta and now they have lost two midfielders. Their bulldog in the midfield and Mati Fernandez at the attack. They might be forced to push Gary Medell up and bring in another center back if they don't want to go to one of their newcomers. And here you see Pizzi and Bosejour exchanging tactics. Pizzi giving Tata all he can handle. Where you talked about. Chile's stumbles down the stretch. Argentina, if they hadn't gotten that win against Colombia in the last qualifier before the year changed, who knows if Martina would still be here. Gary Medell getting the soldiers' orders, and now Chile down a man. Again, Expect we'll Mauricio Pinilla perhaps to come in, Phil. Maybe again with the experience that look. he's got, you know, 32 year old Atalanta man. Perhaps we'll see soon enough. Perhaps dropping Alexis down into the midfield. Here he is winning the ball, chance to send it forward, but intercepted before it finds Orellana. A wall of three for Argentina breaking in <gasps> top of the box. Banega leads. <laughs> It's good build-up. Good Aguero involved. Messi, of course. But then it falls to Angel, and it is an angelic finish. Wonderful strike. How is it possible to put it in from that angle, you may ask? It's possible because he dictates it with brilliant skill. It's cut out here beautifully. Di Maria feeds Angel, wonderful, comes back to Angel, excuse me, and then pushed away, Benega it is, that's involved, strong, and then it finds its way with a little bit of lady luck, Aguero sees the killer pass, Benega cannot quite control it, it falls, and Di Maria sees a window of opportunity that is the size of a postage stamp, there's nothing there between the three red shirts, Hara turns and sees it float into the side netting. No chance at all for Claudio Bravo. The game back on. What a game. Pizzi will not be happy with that long outlet pass. Playing down a man already. Yeah. It looks like Diaz is a la Mati Fernandez going to try. But nope, they're going to replace him. And it is Ryan Ravello. The 21-year-old 
thought he would be the one that would come in instead of Silva the last time, but now the ex Colo Colo kid with Santos Laguna will check in. Talk about smelling blood in the water. He needed this team in red to be down a man and all the substitutions, the disjointed nature that usually happens. But one bad ball out of the back in Argentina pounced like a hungry werewolf and drew blood. Just a flash of pure inspiration from Angel Di Maria, Phil. Again, the way he caressed the ball, not smacked it and didn't hit and hope. He found the right square on the side netting that he probably picked out with those big bulging Argentina eyes. Magic equaliser. Nice tuck in for Gutierrez, the Chilean goal scorer. Out wide, scrambling through, but eludes Mena. And now it's Argentina, all hands on deck, deflected away. Di Maria might get there, but Bravo does. Little collision with Bosejour. Good Pulled step down. up by Biglia. Lucas Biglia winning two block tackles there beautifully to set out that counter. Omega. Nice pass near side Rojo. Omega. Pirouettes brought down. Play on, says Eric Lopez, the Brazilian. And Chile looking to go ahead, but they give the ball in the midfield up too easily. Here's Messi. Well, one tackle there by Kranavita. Uh, Audi Celeste players now starting to readjust to that frenetic start. Look out. Aguero, poke free. It's going to carry for a corner. Good challenge by Gary Medell recognizing that it's a one-on-one -on -one situation and there's an urgent insurance policy needed and Gary Medell just the man to plug up all the holes but he's being worked here now tight turned two injuries don't help absolutely cruel blow for Chile after starting out so sizzlingly hot Swinging away from Bravo, headed high into the air, still in the 18, though. Rojo challenging. Sanchez down with it, looking for the substitute, Ravello. Bodied off the ball, though. Messi weaves, spins, struck down. A lunging tackle from Bosejour. Just getting the ball first. Well, he beats three players, and I think he beat John Bosch's York once, and then he did it again. And the Colo Colo man has prayed too big to be beaten twice by the number 10. Here's the first challenge by Bosch's, or the second one, excuse me. Wow. Comes across and blades through. Messi completely missing the ball. Not only is that a foul, it should be a yellow, but. They will test Bravo again. Benega, just outside the area. Riddell, just outside the six to defend. Chipped towards oh. the top, but a weak effort cleared by Reveo. Oh, nicely. Chance for Messi. Oh. Messi seems to be held. It's bounced home. It's Mercado. got to be Mercado, the young right back. Pounces beautifully. Magic again from Lionel Messi. He is being pulled in lifetime into my eyes, Phil. But the referee saw the advantage and played on. They'll see it again and replay Messi's magic. Comes to the fore once more. But Gabby Mercado comes in straights. The go-ahead goal, take a look at this ball, played nicely into the danger area, Otamendi plays it on, he's onside, Messi getting mauled again, oh. but it makes no difference. Beautiful finish in the end, it's Mauricio Isla who's pulling and shoving on Messi, and he will not go down. Take a look at here, once, twice, he tries to get it, it's magic from Messi to pull it back. Fully intentional for me, for Messi, no. It looked as if he got a touch from Isla. Take a look. 
Either way, the danger is Helter Skelter Chaos, created by Messi's wonderful elusiveness in the box, and Mercado. 29-year-old called up by Diego Maradona six years ago to play Jamaica and not called up again since. But Tata Martino sensed he needed a new right back and a stellar season for River Plate. And boy, does he pay that call up well, off. It's credit to the kid for finishing it off for sure, but Otamendi winning the ball the way he did, hungry like the wolf, and then it fell into the messy area, and what is that? Knows he's got a tiger by the tail there, and his teeth at the other end, and he ain't taking any chances. I still think it might have come off the toe of Isla towards Mercado, Phil, but it don't matter. A brilliant bounce back from the Albi Celeste. Cleared away by Gonzalo Jara. This game has absolutely been played it true warp speed hasn't it and what a character response from Argentina you have to feel some sympathy for Pizzi's man the injury is certainly taking their toll in Argentina now in the ascendancy confidence bubbling Only eight minutes halfway done Backing it down, the substitute Silva. Started out strong, did Chile. The injury to Fernandez, they survived. The injury to Diaz, they tried. Do they have another goal in them? Still about an hour to go in this one. Cuneguero really saving an awful lot of energy as well as is his want in that central attacking position and that can only be more lethal as this game goes on that's wonderful sharpness from El, El Kuhn there poor ball the backspin on this one but Otamendi in good position clears straight back to Silva though here's Mena Gutierrez Spots the opening. Ball says you're in, but too much on it. Easy for Romero. Pressure off the turnover. So vital for this Argentina squad. No one wins the ball more in the opposing half. Oh, ball again. This is a chance for Chile to do it in return. There you winning it now over to the far side Mena Alexis but he can't hold on trying to win it back commits the foul against Otamendi and he was a half an hour that's absolutely been as electric as that number seven for Chile who gets a reach out there on Otamendi with a silly foul but no yellow card Rojo turning into an ever present. Touched goes awry. Back to Medell. Blasted forward. Beausejour gets another chance, but it skips under his feet. But he is fortunate enough to get the foul call and a free kick for Chile. Hard hit. And it looks like. Gutierrez going in strong. David Lopez reaching for the pocket. And the Chilean midfielder has been cautioned. But Funes Mori may be the one that paid the price. Well, the goal scorer pleading his case. It certainly looked like a reckless challenge by the 20 man. A battle royal game, Phil. The challenges are going in hard as the hammers of hell. And you need to have a lot of skill and 
dexterity of touch, speed of movement to get out of challenges like this. And Juan Ricardo suffers it, but none the worse for damage. such thing as a lost cause for Aguero. Well, it's not a bad ball from Granovita, turning Chile around. Kun Aguero just the type to capitalize on any mistake along that back lane. Pushed well, into the middle, Vargas flies in. Cleats seem to catch him in the face. Maybe grasp, but watch if we get a chance. Alexis down in midfield. Played on, Rebello into the area. Batted away by Funes Mori. Right in front of the referee. The referee didn't see anything untoward. It's typical of the way the tempo of this game's going. The big boys being allowed to play and not back out. Take a look. Jumps in. Wins it fairly. And the knee comes in across the face. And he's all right. Oriana. It seems to be okay. Near side, Rebello, the Santos Laguna winger into the middle. Ooh. Headed down, off Otamendi, still loose and cleared away. Oh, they're looking to shake his house of cards on every set piece. This Argentina bat line, Sergio Romero not prepared to come off his lane and claim those balls. And Maria for Messi into this corner. Back they go through Bilia. Started out again for Chile almost to perfection. Fans not happy that it's changed. Matias Fernandez out with a groin pull. Diaz out with a hamstring. And Argentina nice. taking advantage. But here Rabello winning the ball away. Skips through Oriana and back quickly Rojo. steps Isla off a give and go tries to go through the legs of Kranovitu wide for Mena in the middle but back quickly Funes Mori oh. Jose Jure with some time and into nice the middle Alexis Alexis switches Isla settles Wants it back, gets it, but an off-balance cross goes wide. The unlucky. Abello plays a nice ball back to him. He's there, kind of wrap his foot around it. Had nice targets inside as well. He liked the approach play there. Nice bounce back from Pizzi's man. And such a tug of war game, isn't it? It's a pulsating game of footy and South American style. Hard edge about it, bit of broken bottle around the place, and brilliant skill under pressure. Trying, just Ooh. trying. The cleats go out, play on, oh. squaring Aguero, but threw too many bodies in the way. Well, Hara's the man. Gonzalo's got to make this cutout because Lionel knows that El Kuhn is in and he's already identified him, but beautifully cut out by Gonzalo Hara. They're breathing harder than Darth Vader, these Chilean defenders now, and seeing Kuhn Aguero, Di Maria and Messi coming at you, they'll test your lungs. Swinging away, Di Maria's cross. Sails over Otamendi, cleared by Chile to midfield. All hands on deck, so only Argentina can recover it. Good ball in Di Maria, but a push by Rojo from behind. Always funny, even though he's only about five foot seven, Gary Medell tends to get in the way of these. Uh, dynamite player, and the Nazionali man, ex Boca man, of course. Something about South American qualifiers. The Copa America as well. 
I guess the contempt of familiarity. Bill, this is a really still an admirable performance by Chile, given the guns of Navarone that they've got missing out of this lineup and really testing Argentina who have showed their pluck and ability on a world-class level to bounce back here but there's certainly work for Tata Martino to do at half-time because these reds are still coming on laid back by Gutierrez slips away from Mena well defended Unlucky, just gets away from Genio. Nine months ago, Ray, Argentina came inches away from claiming the Copa America crown. Looking for revenge today. That's going to stay out. Touched back by the goal scorer, Mercado. Romero. Bouncing ball, he deals with it. Cooler than a matador in a pink tutu. Well played, Sergio Romero. Chile 2 1 and 1. Just two points above Argentina at the moment. With this Still result, in. they'd be passed. Mercado saw the touch, lets it roll. Well, it is a throw-in for Argentina, but it's deep in their end, and Chile throwing bodies forward to win it back. Martino saying, get forward, get forward. Seeing a lot more than that. It'll be seeing even more at half-time. There's still a lot of work for Tata to tighten up this ship against this never-say-die Chilean side, Phil. And what adjustments can poor... Pizzi make to his wounded team a goal down so far, but he will have a vibrant locker room because they've played a really good tight game in their own way. Missing yep. some big players, man. And he only has one joker left in the deck. Yep. Nice heel from Rebello. Oh. Running on the heels. The foul against Alexis. Good positioning by Otamendi. <laughs> Tries to get away with a bit of naughtiness here, Alexis. He knows Otamendi's got him covered. So he tries to accidentally, on purpose, plead his innocence. Take a look as it gets by him there. The clip across the player's legs. Sometimes he can get away with it. Sometimes not. Good warm 72 degrees. Mostly cloudy skies above with a wind from the south these two have been playing seems like forever Ray first international for Chile in fact against Argentina in Buenos Aires a 3-1 defeat wonderful give and go between Cuneguero and Messi there in tight confines Messi covering as Bilia went forward Rojo Getting the same from Benega. Here's Di Maria. Oh. Shake and bake for the PSG oh. man. Hangs it out. Bravo thought about it. Aguero Wonderful hesitation there. from Di Maria. Waiting for El Kun to make that run. That darting little run which he did. But floats just beyond him. Gato for Di Maria. Oh. Again. Goes into the closet and comes back out. Banging it in off the back of Hara. Yeah, from midfield. Di Maria to Messi. A quick burst of speed. Caressing it. Mercado edge of the area. Good ball inside. Oh. Aguero just couldn't get over it. Fabulous football from Argentina. Just embroidering the football together. Messi, the puppet master, pulling all the right strings. And a beautiful ball played in for Aguero, who rose like a salmon out of a summer stream, but just, as you said, Phil, not able to get that extra inch over top and guide that one past Claudio Bravo. Wonderful construction again from the Albi Celestes. Everything in. seems to be what calling for the sky blue and white. Oh. Aguero cuts back to his right, but then ruled to have pushed Medell to the turf. Chile saved by the whistle. Again, Messi measures it down to the Macron. And this is the end result. 
puts the brakes on, but that's great covering from Gary Medell. He checks his run just in time. His spacing isn't too tight to Cunaguero, and he had to get every measurement of his marking right there. But again, Messi dropping back, and really the Grand Wizard pulling wonderful passing peacocks out of his hat again. Yeah, and Mercado. Osejour keeps it in. Plucked out of the air by Otamendi. Very good with his feet again every time. Sergio Romero. Volkswagen Express halftime show with a recap in case you missed anything. And a look ahead towards even more qualifying action. I don't know if I can take it. We've got even more next week. What a contest with Ecuador and Paraguay earlier. Wonderful hold-up play, but gets away from him. Good pressure from the Reds. Rebello dispossessed, though. Bolivia giving Colombia all it could handle. More on that at the half as well. Here's Messi. He eludes the challenge of Silva. Curls towards the box, tries to thread it through three. Rojo back to the magic man. Rolls around, they'll do it again. Still more to come tonight, by the way. Ooh, Venezuela, tomorrow Brazil, Uruguay. Slammed into Aguero. Chile will take the kick Pizzi had to figure it wasn't going to be that easy Rojo but he tackles it into the middle good cover by Funes Mori okay. and a good outlet from Benega here's oh, Di Maria beautiful cuts to the inside Tries to go back out, goes through two defenders, but again, Medell builds a wall. Francisco Silva. That's Catolico man, now a Chiapas wide for Mena. Give away. First of speed. Oh. Hoping for help, but no. Look at Mena now 27. Messi starting to look a little bit more into this midfield. He likes the look of this to find the holes and pick it up and start providing daggers for Di Maria and Cunaguero. Access to Mena. Bosejour out wide. Well played. Gets it back. That's Wigan man. Nice Gets sweep. three into the box. Cuts it away. Ooh. And it just trickles across. Did it hit the hand? The referee says no. Good play by Borsesjor. Sees his options limited. Gabby Mercado comes across and again, nice defending. The referee right on top of it. Sees that trailing arm behind. No contact. Borsesjor has a different view. Uh, swept in. Balls to the back post. Alexis thought about the volley. Blocked second effort inside. Diving header, Bilia. Good from Hara. Wide to Oriana. Stripped away. Reclaimed Hara. Silva dropping to that back line. As Adele stays forward. Made off to Gutierrez. Nicely. Alexis oh, dribbles okay. into the trap though and cleared away. Reclaimed by Chile. Argentina looking to hold on to the half. Isla. Alexis. Deflects. Silva. Gutierrez. Down he goes. 
right in front of the referee who says no foul. Lucas Biglia making some great challenges there, and it all leads to this. Venega for Aguero. Chile back quickly, but Argentina maybe even quicker. The inside, Venega. Nicely. Oh. Tries the little one-two. He goes down for the only whistle from the stands. Rebello. Up steps Funes Mori. No sign as to how much time added. Can't be much more than this. I think all of these players, these 22 players, will be longing for that halftime whistle, Phil. It's been a pulsating, non-stop game of Helder Skelter football. Seesaw, it's really sapping the energies of both sides. Rebello can't get there. Under these conditions, you can see the exertion in all the players' faces. And it's going to suit the team with the more skill as this game goes on. That's when it will back. rise to the top. And gaps start to develop, and we'll get it all in the second half. Meadows clearance at midfield, a hit from Rojo. Rebello goes down, and a free kick for Chile. Maybe one last chance. Maybe those two injuries could help them. A little extra added time. Oriana, the Celta winger looking to launch this one in. Argentina lining up atop the 18. They haven't been too tricky staying with their markers. Argentina, a lot more focus needed in these areas. Romero off his line. Oriana to the middle. Whoa. Met at the back post oh. and volleyed in oh. second half. Oh. High. Just missing that upper corner. One goal to his name, and he almost found a second. You're right, Phil. Just kind of adjust that right knee over the top of it, but he gives it a great red hot crack. Falls into Felipe's compass, and the second time that is so close. A couple of degrees of separation from bursting the net as Sergio Romero takes off in flight. Two to one, Argentina comes from behind. Gutierrez opened the scoring with his fourth goal, but then Di Maria ties it up. Mercado gives Argentina the lead. Chile trails at the half. For a limited time, you can get a great deal on this Passat. Wow, it looks really good. Volkswagen belief safety is very important. So all 11 models come standard with an intelligent crash response system. Hmm. Uh, seven stability enhancing systems. Hmm. And equipment for two child seats. Hmm. For those who take safety seriously, hmm. like we do, the Volkswagen Safety in Numbers event is happening now. Get a $1,250 Volkswagen reward card and 0% APR on new 2016 Passat models. is blowing up. Mobile Strike. Download and play now. Free from the App Store. Es la hora de mi telenovela favorita. Es el último capítulo. No, 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 no. Suena, es la final. Ni resulta. ¿Ya le habló a su hermana? Oye, ¿y tu yerno? No. Es un bueno para nada. Teletransporta a tu suegra sin fin ni cargos escondidos. Ve a tu tienda favorita y obtén un dólar gratis en llamadas. Buzz Revolution. Une tus mundos. Chair is a beach chair. 
the CONCACAF World Cup qualifiers are back. It's our duty to support our team, our soldiers. Guatemala takes on USA tomorrow on BN Sports. Halftime is brought to you by the newly redesigned Volkswagen Passat. Welcome to your Express Halftime Show brought to you by the newly redesigned Volkswagen Passat. Argentina in the lead 2-1. Christian Vieri, you predicted a goalless draw. Would you have because to Because I saw the last game of the Copa yeah, de Final. That's, right. that's why I said 0-0. <laughs> but it's a fun game. Yeah. Everyone's having fun. Three goals. I think the Argentinian plays up front are playing good, uh, they, they have space, mm -hmm. you know. I think that the defense of uh, Chile is running away too much. When they have to get, when they get, those three get the ball, they have to be more onto them. They have, they have to put more pressure on them. Yeah. If you let them get the ball in between the two lines and you run away, they're going to have space. So they're going to turn and they're going to start doing their one-twos and they're going to start dribbling. So I think Chile has to put mo much more pressure. Yeah, this is a fantastic goal, and I mean, one, once you see this goal right here, the, the overlap, the movement, the quick exchange, and then the placement here to tuck it away, 1-1, one, one, and then we already said there's no Valdivia, no Aranguis, then you lose Diaz, as well as Mati Fernandez. Yeah. That's too much quality against a lack of a, yeah, a, a, agree, a I midfield, agree. I think, here. And Chile really couldn't afford to lose any other players, mm -hmm. and then they go Alexis ahead and Alexis was two. good, though. It yeah. was pretty amazing in 45 minutes. And can they rely on him to get the equalizer, perhaps the winner in the second half? We will find out. And then after this game, we've got another pregame show because we have one final Commonwealth qualifier left tonight, and that is Peru at home to Venezuela at 10.05 p.m. Eastern. Join us for the pregame show ahead of that one. Chile, Argentina, we continue with your first half highlights. When we return, you're watching the Volkswagen Express Halftime Show here on BN Sports. And we're back at Cricket Wireless. Switch and get a brand new LG Rizio for $19.99. Or take a spin with the Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime for $29.99. Cricket Wireless, something to smile about. Hola, mi nombre es April, and I love my new Ford Focus. Me dio mucha sorpresa porque yo fui al dealer pensando que mi mamá me iba a tener que ayudar y es todo gracias a Ford Credit porque ellos me dejaron que financiara el carro yo sola y míralo, está increíble el carro. Y además, me siento segura y no me preocupo mucho de tener que gastar mucho dinero en gasolina porque es lo máximo. I'm so glad I got a Ford. is the new Panini FIFA 365 official sticker album featuring more than 800 of the world's top stars from all your favorite clubs on less than 500 stickers. Start your collection today. Available at select retailers and online at iCollectPanini.com. Panini. Have a vision. It's behind everything you do. Even when you least expect it, it comes through. You know what you want, and we can help make it real. You need choices? We've got all kinds, including special finishes and papers, and they're all absolutely guaranteed. 
because you have a vision and we have your card. 500 started just $9.99 when you enter BC500 at Vistaprint.com. Hello and welcome to The Locker Room. Analysis. La Liga became the most expensive league in the world to win in terms of points. Controversy. It's it's money, money. Money. I know that. Don't miss out on The Locker Room. There's something special about speed that thrills. Speed triggers a stress hormone that quickens the heartbeats. Such accretion of adrenaline is part of the human fight or flight response to fear, panic, threat. Once tasted, it becomes addictive. Cones a must. There's something special about speed that thrills. Experience the best of motorcycle road racing this season on BN Sports. Sunday, the best international soccer is on BN Sports. Spain's manager, Vicente del Bosque, is running out of time as he tries to find the perfect combination of players to defend his country's European Championship title in France. One of the final challenges will be against Romania as Spain looks to discover the right formula for the front line. Romania versus Spain on BN Sports. National Stadium in Santiago. Highlights brought to you by Volkswagen and the newly redesigned Passat. It's a newly redesigned Chile. Well, we expected magic, and it started out like a fizz bomb this game. And a wonderful late arriving Gutierrez is as sharp as vinegar with this header. Wonderful. Look at how he rises and steers this one down beautifully past Sergio Romero. But then the Albi Celeste would start knitting their game together. Wonderful pinpoint passing, but then it gets away from Benega. And Angel Di Maria says, throw me the keys. I'll take over this steering wheel. And absolutely wonderful. It's the equivalent of X-ray vision, how he finds a side of that net through four players all together. And it would come back on. Lovely ball into the danger area. Otamendi wins it beautifully. They try to pull Messi back. They can it. And in the end, Mercado, the river plate man, rises beautifully and is in the right place at the right time. Isla tries to throw a net around Messi. He'll need more than that. And Mercado, sharp as vinegar with his finish. Chile would not go down. Losing two players and they didn't care. Being roused by this crowd and both coaches, Tata Martino and Pizzi, have got serious work to be done because this game ain't over. One goal between them, Phil, and this game could still go either way. Wonderful. Two to one, Argentina at the half. Brought to you by Volkswagen. Introducing the world's newest, sleekest, most state-of-the-art corporate jet. That isn't a corporate jet. Today, the 2018 Gonmebol World Cup qualifiers are on BN Sports. Winning is the only option for two national teams fighting to escape the bottom of the standings. Peru versus Venezuela on BN Sports. In our daily lives, there's a power that we face every day called resistance. An unstoppable force that affects our daily lives since the day we were born. Whether you're an artist, a scientist, an athlete, it affects us entirely, counteracting every momentum we act on. But in that resistance lies something magical, supernatural. If we learn how to embrace it, 
The fear we have in our lives is a great indicator that tells us what to do. And the more scared we are, the more sure we can be that we have to do it. So bring on that resistance. Bring on the best and worst of us. Because at the end of it, we always bring out the best in all of us. El Clasico is here on BN Sports. Welcome back, everyone. It's halftime between Chile and Argentina, and it's time to break down the matchup with our BN Optics brought to you by Cricket. I'm here with Christopher Sullivan, and we're going to take a look at these three goals with BN Optics. And we look at the first one here, Gutierrez, corner kick header, but you can see the movement by the defense is a little shaky there. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, this has been, I mean, look at the static uh, lack of movement from Argentina yeah. in anticipation, but it was a great delivery. Yes. Absolutely important. And, you know, there was that momentum from Chile. Look at the spacing. This was what I was concerned with. That pass right there was golden. To play back into the axe, quick exchange from Kuhn. He clears the space. Di Maria having the presence of mind right here just to place around into the far corner. And that's a wonder placement and, and a huge equalizing goal for Argentina and, and really made the difference when they lost the two midfielders. Yeah, and then we see here the goal here by uh, Mercado and you see Otamendi, look at the effort to just get that header down and then Messi gets tackled, but Mercado hard work gets, gets the goal. Mercado, the young right back from River, comes through with a great, agile, you know, mm -hmm. strike at an important time and then you can see that Argentina came together and Messi said, guys, we're not going to lose this. We're not going to look back. So it's going to be a fabulous second half. All right, those were the goals brought to you by B and Optics brought to you by Cricket. We'll have a second half kickoff coming up next with Phil Ray here on B and Sports. The Express Halftime was brought to you by the newly redesigned Volkswagen Passat. I'm here to pick up some parts. Behave, okay? Sure, Dad. I need an oil filter for my truck. Y arranca el partido, pica toda velocidad rumbo a las herramientas. Encara el defensa y se lo quita sin problemas. NTP, no tengo palabras, solo falta el gol. Gran tapada, esa fue una jugada de pura calidad. Everything okay? Yeah, Dad. Conquer the Japan, feel like a star with Napa know-how. I think we should have taken a left at the river. Tarzan, no. Where Tarzan go? Tarzan does not know where Tarzan go. Hey, excuse me. Do you know where the waterfall is? Waterfall? No, no. Me, Tarzan. King of jungle. Why don't you want to just... If you're a couple, you know fight over directions. It's what you do. If you want to save 15% or more on car insurance, you switch to Geico. It's what you do. You have to do that right in my ear. For a limited time, you can get a great deal on this Passat. Wow, it looks really good. Volkswagen believes safety is very important. So all 11 models come standard with an intelligent crash response system. Hmm. Uh, seven stability enhancing systems. Hmm. And equipment for two child seats. Hmm. For those who take safety seriously, hmm. like we do, the Volkswagen Safety in Numbers event is happening now. Get a $1,250 Volkswagen reward card and 0% APR on new 2016 Passat models. Mario Bravo trying to find out the inner reaches of Eber Lopez's mindset. Interesting the way this match got underway. Let's take a look back at our B and Optics to see how these goals appeared. Beautiful ball feared in first of all, but look at this head up. Bigly up. Hey, you know, I mean, it's a difficult one to mark. He comes onto it. He's a little bit loose. He gets the run on the Albi Celeste, but a powerful header. This ball here is fabulous from Ramiro Funes Mori and starts the dominoes falling. Get a little bit of snap, crackle, pop here from Benega, but Angel Di Maria instinctively knows where the goalposts are through those three shirts and knows the goalposts ain't moving and he finds a spot in between. Di Maria sends a hopeful ball in, Otamendi rises beautifully, punches it over the top for the bull and there's eyes all over this little bull but it is a little bit of fortune because Isla by the looks of it gets the final touch right there and sets up Mercado to finish it off, strength from Otamendi, strength from Messi as well, but all together for the spellbinding footballers that are 
decorating this football in Pitchville. All in all, these have been three goals that are really been gritty. They've been won by a lot of grit and determination rather than an exceptional pure football and ability. So there's plenty of time for the real skill mongers to come out and illuminate this crowd as if it needs it. Ray, it was only a couple of months ago Argentina was here. You'd figure they would have remembered the way to get back out onto the field. Yeah. Well, we still got plenty more action to come your way tonight. Roar of the Comebol qualifiers in Peru under Ricardo Gareca trying to get their second victory of qualifying against a winless Venezuela. Important match for both. Peru's been playing better, but you still got to show the points. And then, of course, tomorrow, Brazil against Uruguay. See this so many times, Phil, in Argentina between the club teams where they play a little bit of gamesmanship. You've seen it over all the years. You know, Chris Sullivan has seen it a million <laughs> times as well. And uh, Bob Oliveira as well in Italy. Make them wait, and they'll hear it from this crowd. We list some of the stories from Bobo. He sprinted onto the field. He didn't want to be stuck in the tunnel. Dangerous yeah. things can happen there. Yeah. You know, Messi. A lot of running in the first half for Messi. It's a different style for Argentina. But you also sense after missing the first four matches, he was hyped up for this one. Granovitter anchoring the midfield. Di Maria and Mercado the goals to give Argentina the lead. Just about ready for the start of the second half. Just two points from their first three matches for Argentina before getting that win against Colombia. Starting the round in sixth place. But they have a 2-1 lead. And happy days here again, but 45 minutes more to go. The Albi Celeste defending the goal to the left. The Roja attacking from right to left. Second half underway. Phil Shane on Ray Hudson with you, and glad you could join us. There's all the action available in SAP. If you wish to hit the button, Jose Hernandez and Eduardo Biscayard there to welcome you. No changes in the lineup for Chile. You might be surprised no one got hurt at halftime. Matias Fernandez went down a few moments in. A few moments later, Marcelo Diaz would follow. Groin and hamstring pulls apparent, respectively. Mario Bravo in goal. Isla Medel, Hada, and Mena. Bursting a lung, Bosejour, but couldn't get there. Lipe Gutierrez joined by substitute Francisco Villa. Silva make that and Ryan Rabello in the midfield while Oriana Sanchez and Bosejur up front. Romero in goal for Argentina. Mercado, Otamendi, Funes Mori, and Rojo the back line from right to left. Ilian Benega flanking Kranovitzer in the midfield with Messi, Aguero, and Di Maria. Romero taking his chances and he comes up trumps. Mm. That's early to get a yellow card, Ray. a little bit surprising that this referee has let so many very contentious let's just say it tackles go both ways uh, without any sort of warning or reprimand certainly keeping the yellow card in his pocket as I said letting the big boys play a lot of times but then Sergio Romero for time wasting is booked and probably rightly so Wanted someone to check back. No one on the same page. Oh, touched into the middle. Strong challenge. Funes Mori maybe a little too strong. And now he goes in the book. Well, it was wonderful in that first half in my eyes. Played some really good defense. And this one, wow. He goes through. Does he get the ball first? No, absolutely not. It's easy to be smart in replay, but in lifetime, that looked as if he got there at the same time and got the ball cleanly. He did not. Well refereed. With a kid oh. in the book. Messi 
harassed on his way through midfield. Wonderful control on the run, and then he kisses it past the last defender. It's a good ball. Vega tried to burst the gut, but touched away by Medell. A lovely pass from Lucas Biblia. Down went Sanchez. Nada. Nunes Mori again. Chested Bravo and just sneaks it under Di Maria. Measured it absolutely beautifully. It would have been a good call in that Claudio Bravo. Out wide, Chile trying to spread this field. Mena sneak. sneaks it in. Bosejour sends it back. Nice. However, wide might have been better to let it run for a throw in. Instead, it's a goal kick. Bosejour wants that one back. Uh, just a little out then here with it. Uh, you know, thought he could turn the corner. To midfield. Well, so you're playing a little deeper in the second half. Adjustments could, made. Could have were not the type of a forward to come back under those passes as well. And defenders of Argentina would be a lot more progressive if they could find their midfield before playing up to Cunaguero. Your side men. Follow. Left back and Silva up the Still. middle. Step over Orellana. Difficult ball for Alexis to handle, and it's stolen away. Di Maria, Messi in the gap, but it pops up. Must be a defective ball. Now, bad control. He's only human. That one was the left foot. I want a second opinion. Yep. Back heel, Bosejour. Chance for the goal scorer, Gutierrez. Waiting for help. Overlap. To Bosejour back to Gutierrez tries to sneak it in and a smart step up, but a poor clear. Guerra wanted a better chance. 100th cap for Bravo, honored before the match, but it will go down as a loss if Chile cannot find at least one more goal. Hara. Argentina traveling crowd making its presence felt. And the rotational foul on Lionel. This is his turn, about to turn and pick out his pass. They clip him again. Stepping up Bilia. Yep. Gets in those challenges, Phil, in a way that. Perhaps Benega and Kranovita have been missing a little bit with their challenges that are won. Not so with yeah. Lucas Biglia. This ball, Bosejour, well defended. Otamendi oh. inside though, Sanchez! Oh, he flips it up and over, but can't find the bullseye. So lucky, wonderful attempt from Electric Sanchez. Nice ball played in from Nena. Bosejour as always a one-man battleship plays it across. Look at this, hocus pocus, and he's got no space. Makes the ball his little yo-yo again. Admirable in its failure from Alexis. So close to getting it right though, wasn't he, Phil? As you said, the outside of the foot, just a little too heavy as Sergio, big Sergio Romero came out and spread himself. Good start from Chile. Don't forget to send in your favorite moments during these qualifiers and beyond. Hashtag what I loved or que te gusto to be in sports USA or ESPN sports. Que te gusto. You ever watch El Locker Room? They're pretty good. Boy, will we have plenty to talk about.
and Randle. And something we haven't touched base on. Arguably the hottest striker on the planet is Gonzalo Higuain. Ten goals more than Aguero, but and Martino says two of the top five strikers on the planet, but he can only play one, yeah. and he chose Aguero. Well, look at the score line so far, but Kuhn still to find his name on the sheet, but certainly what a player to come in off of the bench. The man, as you say, Phil, who's in absolutely scalding hot form for Napoli. Good ball. Space to roam. Di Maria <laughs> almost to Aguero. Well defended, Hara. Well said, Phil Sheen. Hara. And he didn't even need his thumb this time. Cellophane. Here he tracks on Mr. Lethal. And he's got to be as close to his shadow as he can get. And he does block beautifully. Wonderful invite from Angel Di Maria. That's the way crown of it, too. Talked about him a bit, but the youngster, just 22 years of age, another ex River now with Atleti really coming into his own. The absence of Mascherano, and they haven't missed a beat. Well, we've enjoyed Angel Di Maria in his absolutely amazing performances for PSG in Liga and B in sports, and still for me is somewhat underrated around the world, Phil. I mean, you just saw how lethal he can be with a half of an opportunity for his goal, but his passing is absolutely so applaudable. We are off balance. Martino made no secret. He was not happy with PSG for playing Di Maria with the title already won and two qualifiers to come. Well played. Doesn't and seem again, to have hurt him, though. That's magic from El Kun. Messi with space, but cuts to his left, now rides the challenge oh. back towards his right, and then shut down by Mena. Fancies himself against those three players who had stood up to him, and Lionel thought he could hit the electric switch and blow by, he nearly did. Messi waiting for the avenue, opens to Mercado. This Mercado open for business today stepping in in the November victory against Colombia and now scores a goal in what would be an Argentina victory over Chile that's not a bad way to put your shingle out for that right back spot stripped away from the goal scorer Gutierrez a collision on the far side Right in front of Tata Martino, the referee seemed to have a good view and does not call the foul. Di Maria on the receiving end here. It's very clever by Silva. Again, accidentally on purpose. But he'll be fine. Well, maybe not. Maybe landed awkwardly. Not sure, does he catch him on the hip on that point? Let's have a look, yeah. And a bit of a talking to from the referee, but not the Martino has a few extra words to say. Got off to a great start, and then reality hit. In the form of injuries to two integral players, arguably the most important offensive midfielder and defensive midfielder both KO'd in the first half due to injury still promising signs in his debut well, he's got a hard act to follow hasn't he Phil in my mind a man who probably deserved more attention for FIFA coach of the year yeah. hard for a national team boss to do that but he deserved the chance yeah, Look out. Burst of speed doesn't seem to be hurt. Sprinting towards the area, Di Maria. Wah! Met into the middle, but high. An easy grab by Bravo. Di Maria's run, knowing that Messi will find it. And he nearly does again. An impossible fall, ball to hit over that distance under the head of the pin for Di Maria. But Leo gives it a try and just comes up short. Flash of sixes and on the wrong side of the box cars comes Gutierrez. Nice pass. Alexis caresses, oh. but can't bring it to a stop at Isla's feet. Yeah, he needed to bring out a bigger sand wedge here. Alexis puts as much negative spin on it as he can and stabs through the ball. But 
doesn't get that trajectory quite right. An awesome opening hour, but now to the final half hour. Does Chile have anything left? Say so by the looks of the way they've started this. Certainly are pushing high and leaving big areas for this man to attack. Brought down, Bo says, you're across, but not enough contact, said the referee, as Messi went down in a heap. They do have the bull in the china shop, Mauricio Pinilla, available on the bench if they wish. And Nico Castillo, maybe a chance for the 23-year-old Catolica forward to be a hero. There's teammate Jason Vargas, the 18-year-old, who could make his debut. No Vidal, no Vargas, no Valdivia, all suspended following their debacle against Uruguay. And Arangis injured. Pizzi not playing with a full deck through no fault of his own. Rushed Funes Mori. Had his start really with FC Dallas in ways and played youth in the Dallas area near Arlington with the XMLS defender Uche Okafor. River Plate signed both him and his brother. Oh. Settled. Oh. Ariana, second chance! Oh. oh, what a stop by Romero! Ariana, absolutely wonderful, but it's Alexis Sanchez. It starts it as always. At the heart of everything for PT is Alexis, who started the dominoes falling, the beautiful red ones all over that distance and it's forced the Fabian who curls it but just not curly enough Sergio Romero slap it away Mariana dangerous clash of heads down goes Gutierrez might have protected himself but he couldn't find the ball that is fourth goal in the first half to Gutierrez to start the scoring I think he saw a brace there. Almost ended up seeing stars. Bravo. For Alexis, but offside. Well, unlucky for Chile, because the hold-up play was beautiful as well. Route one football this. And hold offside, still haven't had a be able to take another look at that wonderful opportunity that was created and nearly finished off. Di Maria knocked down to the edge of the area. Adel dribbles out. The whistle goes the other way. Maybe a little home cooking, thinks Argentina. Isla did have his hands up, opening the opportunity, but Eber Lopez has let them play both ways. Peru, Venezuela to follow. Check out beinsports.com for more. Play again. Nice kiss off by Bosejour. Back to Mena. Gutierrez nice to Silva. Play. Lovely switch at the point of attack here. And they've got bo boys in the box. Isla, too much. And down in the torpedoes, Alexis's men. And here they come again. The space they're leaving is inviting Argentina for that quick counter, but they're getting Just away with it. Alexis spots the run, rolls it wide, but forced to come back. Isla in the pass taking so long. He was off and Alexis off to the races, Argentina. Would have liked to head that one back. It would have been a wonderful opportunity to catapult for it's Alexis Messi. Sanchez. Three inside. Messi. Good cover by Silva. The Chiapas midfielder. Oh, Again. Overreaching by Lucas Piglia. He loves those block tackles. He wins most of them. Very Medell. Alexis helps win it. Punez Mori couldn't. It. But on second effort. Alexis trying to get around Otamendi, who slams the door shut. Gabby Mercado has to win that half challenge, and he just does it in time. 
Little kick out here by Romero with Alexis flying past. And Sanchez doesn't like it. Messi playing a triangle on that far side. He's used to that. Probably tossing a tambourine as well. Here's Mercado. Again, you look at the bench. Zabaleta oh, yeah, yeah. available. Ball. Alexis Sanchez away. recognizes it. Sergio Romero, who is exchanging the verbals with there just moments ago, might be a little bit under pressure. So well played in the head games by Alexis Sanchez. Wins that battle. And again, Chile possession. Vidal. I didn't spot the movement of Silva. It's a giveaway in the midfield. Good cover, though, by Medell. Getting chased, but it will carry. Argentina looking to the bench, yeah. about ready to make a switch. It's Higuain that is ready and primed. Okay. Last minute wisdom He's from in. Jorge Potasso. Chance for Aguero. Aguero! And it just won't turn left. Wonderful heckle and jekyll combination from El Kuhn in La Pulga Atomica. Wonderful in its attempt again. Just kind of get enough swerve and dip on it. And what a way that would have been to exit this game. Because probably it'll be Sergio Aguero to come out for Pepita. Well, the door's been opened at the top of the table. Ecuador with its first blemish. Although they did fight back for an heroic draw against Paraguay. Still unbeaten at 13 points. If Uruguay can upend Brazil tomorrow, they could draw within a point of the lead. Aye. Under pressure. Oh. Ilya Mena continuing to challenge. Looking for his goalkeeper to help him out, and Sergio Romero a little hesitant to come to his aid. Mercado couldn't handle it. Chile gets it outside the area. Bilia trying to win it back. Wide for Oriana. Scoops it inside. Romero walks it across. They're already crossed. Goal kick. A substitute is about to be made. And here's that other wonderful opportunity here. Rihanna just falls to him nicely. Kind of get enough height on the ball to send it into that postage stamp. But an admirable effort, well dealt with by the Man United man. Now, in the midst of what appears to be a record run with Napoli in Serie A, looking to get a run out in Argentina for Aguero, Gonzalo Higuain. Good performance by Aguero without bringing the house down. Great movement, held the ball up well under pressure several times, and then that last involvement could have really sealed it with a kiss for Argentina after connecting with Messi sweetly. 55th appearance for Higuain. Did not have pleasant memories of this stadium nine months ago. A chance to claim the Copa America and just inches away on the slide on the pass for Messi, and they would eventually lose it. As that followed up with his Napoli heroic turn, goat turn, almost a la the natural with two goals to keep Napoli alive for a Champions League spot, only to miss a penalty. And that followed his frustration in the Brazilian World Cup. And all that in the past. And again, lovely Mato football. Messi. Ah. And Bidia can't keep it going. Here's his counterpart, Gutierrez. Double team, but finds Mena. Chile sneaking numbers forward. Bolsejour into the middle, but too close to Romero again. Strong outlet to Higuain. 
nine months ago. That might have been the Argentine fans whistling, but stepped in in Messi's absence. Yeah, did very well in May eyes, Phil, against both Paraguay and Brazil in particular. against Paraguay, the 1-1 against Brazil. Bavetsi scored in that one. And then Villa, the only goal of the Colombia match. Keeping his feet, Di Maria. Not quite possession. Messi trying to win it back, but he knocks down Beausajour. And another substitution. And it is going to be Pania. So the final joker pulled out of the deck by Pizzi. Out comes the substitute, Rabello. So a sub for a sub, and the big Chilean will jump up front. Thirty-two-year-old Pinilla now playing his soccer in Atalanta after a long stretch in Italy. What's well, your Good nice ball, ball on side, oh. and Panilla with his first touch almost ties it up. Beautiful setup again. Peels away from his defender beautifully. It's a tough angle for him to get on target. Bossejour outside of the foot, dagger ball, and the hopping ball takes a bad lucky bounce in front of him, and that caused the shot to go. Skyward, a brilliant play from John Bosazor. Everyone on the bench now for Chile, a spectator. Nicely. Still two subs Good left clear. if they need it. Benega, just a touch of Adele again, but he gives it up. Oh, a collision just outside, hot up. And this one is not going to be a foul, but Messi lands awkwardly. Uh, never backing down, not want to shy away at the best of times when it's downstairs and the cleats are flying. But Messi launches into this one, brave heart, against a man twice his size, and then comes a tumble, as you said, Phil, from a high, high height. But that's the way a captain performs and leads you through the fire. Comes up to the referee, no argument, 20 minutes left. Is there a game tire for Chile? Fidel. Oriana upended. Switch to Mena, they'll probe the left. This is your... Another Haitian, mother Chilean. Alien action for CONCACAF play, by the way. Check out BMSports.com. Taking on Panama. Good ball, Gutierrez. For the big man inside, if they get a Oriana chance. Oriana serves ball. a good ball. Oh! Missed by Panilla. Second chance, Sanchez. Oh. And he can't force it through Mercado. And sometimes you can see why Mauricio Panilla's had 18 clubs in his career. 32 year old gets served a beautiful ball played in and just kind of adjust his big frame right in the center of the attack. Mariana, the 30 year old, a late bloomer. Romero uses all of his height, runs in the family, his brother, a basketball oh. player. Lead it forward here for Higuain. Messi oh, on his right nicely. if he needs him. Bursting oh, through. Please. Mena leaves him. Oh. And Higuain gets the shot away, but blocked by Silva. Oh, fresh legs and sharp eye. He leaves his support behind him and goes solo. With good effort, decidedly. But one against three that time, and Pepita couldn't do the damage. Augusto Fernandez, an ex-teammate of Oriana at Celta, and now of Kranovitter at Atleti. 
would pick up Augusto Fernandez, the 29-year-old ex of River. Venega exits. Some flashes, but nothing quite catching fire, except for leaving the ball for Di Maria's goal. An in-swinger, low, cleared away. They'll try it again. This one sent longer, strong from Bravo and sure hands. Outlet for Alexis. Sliding over Kranovitter. Fernandez at 29. Making his 10th appearance, good through ball, tucked nice inside. Three. Collision sends Gutierrez down. The referee looking over at his linesman, but no signal. Instead, it looks like it's Kranovitter on the wrong end of the collision, but calls for a penalty from the crowd. Gutierrez, yeah. the ex Catolica man, has been the danger man. Yes, has been everywhere. His arms on him. If that's in the midfield, is there a whistle? The referee's right there, has a clear look at him. And nothing given. The worst course, and Kranavita certainly dicing a little bit. Playing Russian roulette there, but it went click. Might be a world record for drop balls. I think that might be the fourth one we've had today. You would know that with your statistics, surely. Too entertained. Quarter hour to go. Good run again. Higuain dishes. Di Maria delivers. Oh. Good shut off on this near side by Maynard. attempt by Di Maria to find either that pull gap or Higuain searching pass. Just goes astray in the end. Oh, free from Panilla, reclaimed by Chile in the midfield. Here's Silva. Oriana weaves to the inside. Good tracking back by Di Maria on that far side as well. Anna now with space. Top of the box nice inside. Lead. Oriana tries to turn Pope free. What? Chance for Silva! Scraping just wide. Francisco steps into this one with authority. Chiapas man thinks he's got this equalizer as it pops back to him. Lovely play by Oriana on the turn, but it's well dealt with initially by Otamendi, but man alive. One degree out of finding that sweet spot on the fifth bounce, perhaps, but fool's gold for Silva. Ensports.com to find out all the latest and what this means in the big picture. And share your thoughts. Satisfied if you're Argentinian? And if you're Chilean, how does this compare to Sao Paulo? Back for Funes Mori. The big dog trying to hunt, but he left the bone. Now out. Oriana, well covered, Kranovitu. Very risky play there for the first time by Ramiro Funes Mori. Stepping out of his back line into that midfield area. You better get that right. He did not. Nearly paid the price. Good tackle. And and Mori again. smartly make that. Bosa Jure smartly getting the throw. Again, even with the sprightly, fresh Gonzalo Higuain, we are being with just a, two guards at the back now, pushing up the wing backs in search of this equaliser. Wonderful width played by Baroja. Just under 45,000 in attendance at the Estadio Nacional tonight. Will they find a winner or at least a draw? Pania knocks it back, but in the wrong direction. Argentina comes away with it. 
And out wide, Di Maria. Oh. Trying to get around Medell. Di Maria. Medell, oh. but he can't block him. The shot goes wide. Brave and tricky on the run. Hesitates and holds up. Defense support, it ain't there. So he goes for gold. And it's not a bad effort. By Di Maria. Plenty of power, just not the prerequisite accuracy, but they didn't have many other options. Just one win in their last five games for Argentina. Good play. Chance for Alexis. Dances back into the midfield. Mena drives it in. Kind of it to with a touch, poorly cleared by Rojo. Mena again. Argentina backing off too close to Mercado, who slides it away. Welcoming Bolivia, who are a bit unfortunate not to get a point today. Argentina's next match. Nicely. Rosajur sneaks it in. Good cover. Unes Mori. Up next for Chile. Nicely. Chance oh. top of the box and a strong challenge. Otamendi. Great turn by Alexis Sanchez trying to touch that one on for Pinilla. And that was cut out at the last baby's breath right there in front of goal. Still there. Come on. Rosajur again playing his line. Romero but offside against Pinilla. And maybe a foul to boot. Well, Buddy's been dropping to the ground like in the guard for that all game long. Funes Mori not one to back down from anything. A bit of a push. He pushes him into an offside position, basically. <laughs> this clever player in itself. And Penila's got a axe to grind. He was holding himself square to the Funes Mori. And Funes Mori actually pushed him into the offside trap. For the Atalanta Them Argentines forward. with their hands and arms, man. They do it. Great effort here again. Pinilla. Wonderful combative action. Nicely covered. He's done for the day, he's saying. And Lavezzi checks in. Yep. In many ways, the motor of this Argentine team for a decade. Now... Let's just say he's running on high octane as he's made the move to China. Led free, we hope. Ex-teammate of Di Maria. Well, it'll be good to see if Levetzi can reproduce that type of pass that nearly won the Copa America for Argentina, directing that ball into Higuain, but the other end here, look out. Oriana, oh. and he just couldn't get his foot around the cross. Did well to freeze Rojo. United defender sending it downfield. Chile will recoup and regroup. Forty-ninth cap for Lavezzi. Nice ball. Well played. Good cut to the inside. Isla hops up Gutierrez, but he can't force it past Rojo. And a foul by Silva to try and win it back. Ray, it's interesting that Martino called Levetsi back. That's been one of the concerns with all of these big money signings by China. Considering it takes pretty much a day to travel and another one to travel back yeah. whether the national team coaches in South America Will elect to look elsewhere. Yeah, especially when he's got Carlos Tevez just down the road So to speak oh, well played. As he somehow keeps it alive Iguain Thought about giving it back a little slow. So many things to prove today. Pizzi stepping in for some Pauli in his first match. The return of Messi. Martino looking to prove that the winless streak 
right now in history and Gonzalo Higuain a chance to erase his ghosts in his own haunted house Rihanna well cleared again stripped magic keeping his feet messy refusing to go down no. chipping it back and almost in unintentionally was Levetsu looking for goal or was he looking for the cross? Absolutely looking for goal. My opinion, again, Messi making that hard, hurtful run, taking his licks and providing a great opportunity. Ania can't keep it in. Levetsu saw Messi marked on the inside of him. I think he goes for goal. He may be right, Phil. Maybe it was a bad pass. Take a look at this. What do you think? I think that's painted into the top corner and it ain't far away from Ezekiel Mercado Higuain trying to cut back into the middle Augusto Fernandez gives it right back to Chile Pops up on Alexis, goes around to Levetsi. Touched into the middle, back for Sanchez. Help in the middle, looking for Pania. Just sails over him, Mercado gets there first. Smart play, but even better. Unfortunately for Chile, it doesn't go out, and Mercado sends it back upfield. Good strength and good versatility there by Gabby Mercado. Higuain offside. Spacing on the defense, on the attacker was very well orchestrated. And well, there was a little push on him. Went down, still got away with it. Again, Mercado impressive again. interception from Mercado. More and more making that his own. They have Roncalia, they still have Zabaleta. Mm. Ay, ay, ay. Gifts. Commentator's curse fell. From Mercado with the left foot. Will it cost him? Here's Mena. Tired legs out there now. It's showing in some of the passes. Messi. Four months worth oh. of energy. Oh. Messi weaves past two. Pope free. Fidel. Still Argentina. Only five defenders back. And Messi takes the pan off the fire. Argentina fans calling out Messi's name and getting the derision and the whistles of Chile, but that was tremendous run by Messi. But even the Chile fans have got to admire. It was Eugenio Mena that was trying to clip him and couldn't. Strong run forward, Lavezzi bursting his lungs to get around Medell. Battle of tanks in the corner. Levetsi keeps it alive. Dell slamming in on the challenge. Sliding in. Wonderful tackle. Nothing wrong. Well played, referee. Every coach would love to have their own Medell. Four minutes remain. Similar to the role Mascherano plays for Argentina. Mache unavailable today. Granovich, they're stepping in. Nice from Rojo, but Lovetsi seemed to be caught by surprise and trips up Isla. Caution against the substitute. Chile quickly restarts. Three minutes of regulation remain. And a good game for Bosejour. And this lad. Gucciet is phenomenal. Mena. Gets there, but slides. This time he does knock it off of Mercado in a corner for Chile. A wonderful opportunity here now. They've been always full of threat, and they've got the fresh legs of big Mauricio Pania to come crashing in if the service is right. Played to the top of the box, Bosejour. Better with his left. He'll go. Chips. Romero can't get oh. there. Headed back. Well defended, Otamendi. So close for Pania. Bosejour plays the right ball up. Just doesn't have enough of ping on it. And it's a tough header for the big man to rise and 
get the power and placement, but he makes a valiant effort as his all of these red shirts playing in this tremendous game of South American World Cup qualifying football right from the first whistle. Still undecided. And here they come again. Back to the express desk after this one. And following that, Peru, Venezuela. We're not done yet. And a great start to this round. Well, we're done, me and you. Well, we'll be recapping things Please. in the witching hour. Yeah. Tell me we've got the nurse waiting with the oxygen tent for me. Colombia coming back with a 3-2 win against Bolivia, Paraguay, and Ecuador as the group leaders bounce back for a point. This one, 2-1. to one. Can Chile pull some late heroics? Inus Mori. Nice hold. Kisses to the corner and a little token touch. No chance for Rojo. Good ball, boys. Here's Silva. Came close about 15 minutes ago, but his shot about a half yard wide. Oh, closer than that, Phil. Nicely. Settled. And Into the handball. In for Pania. Cleared by Funes Mori. But they're going to call a foul. Alexis. Brings this one down cleanly, says the ref, and then he's brought down. Well, he still gets his killer pass off anyhow, Alexis. I thought it had been playing the advantage. There is the ball played. There's very little contact there. And this is a little bit of a gift for Chile and Electric Sanchez adjusting his. Winchester sharpshooter sights here. In all likelihood, it will be the Arsenal man. He's got the shorts pulled up in full launch. No Mati Fernandez, no Valdivia to argue with. Oh, these are the ones that practice until the moon goes to bed at night, Phil, even in London. And this man can be lethal. Alexis Sanchez from 25 yards out. Sanchez! And it just won't fall. So what have we seen from Pizzi and Chile? Well, right from the start, Phil, they were hurt, weren't they? The sad exclusions that they were punished by certainly had an effect on the cohesion of the team, undoubtedly, and yet still they've made this an absolute heart stopper for everybody watching, especially Tata Martino, who looks as if he'll have Mercado to thank if they can see out this extra stoppage time to be played. Well, he said it was a relief to have Messi back. Well, again, Phil, Baroja missing so many top class players. Almost half of the starting team of Copa America out of the lineup. The three V's. Perhaps most notably, Vidal, Vargas, and Valdivia. There's a strange type of performance by Argentina. Not thoroughly impressive defensively, and yet a lot of good individual uh -huh. performances. Locking down the danger man, but Sanchez. not doing it, in my opinion, in a really organized way. So lots of problems for Martino to come to terms with before the next game. Sanchez brings it down. Otamendi brings him down. Brings it down. Brings it down. Like a ring on a pillow. Magic from Alexis Sanchez on the run and throws up another silver bullet to be attacked by his big man. It'll be clashing in here. Maybe, just maybe, this is the last chance for Chile. Sent Whoa. in back post. Romero. Oh. He bobbles. Bravo was up and in fact brings down his counterpart. And now he's going to go in the book. Thought it was going to flight its way to Felipe Gutierrez, who is really battling. He'd start a riot in the convent here tonight. Gutierrez, a real fighter and a real footballista. A man that plays his football at 20, showing up superlatively tonight. He's waiting, but. 
can see Romero gathering easily. Not much there for Bravo, but he did not want to give Romero the chance to start a break with an empty net. Final seconds ticking away, and that will do it. Chile scores first, beats he dreams, and then brought back to earth is Argentina with its second straight win. Di Maria and Mercado both with goals and the River Plate right back. The game winner from Messi. Time now for our 91st minute brought to you by Napa as Argentina wins 2-1. Oh, wonderful game of thrilling football. The Albi Celeste won't need the planes to fly them home. They'll be doing it under their own power. And here we have Napa, Pura Calida. What gritty goals. And this one is pure quality in the header. A wonderful rise for Felipe Gutierrez, who would go on to have a wonderful game. It's a tremendous header, not a slack one. He arrows it down. Fudis Mori steps in for Di Maria to start the dominoes falling. It's a bad touch here by Benega, but he keeps it alive for Di Maria, who sends this one home, cooler than a bomb disposal expert, and tells La Roja fans to be quiet and shut up by your ass. And look at this extra vision from Di Maria. And again, fed into the danger area. Otamendi rises magnificently. The cannon pull Messi down. It's a touch from Isla that finds Mercado. And the Mercado was a wonderful song by Gilbert and Sullivan. And Mercado will be using the words tonight. It was far from a comic opera. It was serious football in the end. And everywhere for Napa, it was pura calida, pura calida. Argentina, rock on. Argentina climbing up the table. Messi setting up Mercado for the winner. Ray Hudson, I'm Phil Shane. Still plenty more to talk about. Still plenty more action on tap. Without any further ado, let's head off to the Express. Terry Lee, Christian Vieri, and Christopher Sullivan to continue your magic ride. win part by Napa, Geico, Cricket, and Ford. There you have it, Argentina avenging that Copa America final loss to Chile with a 2-1 finish. We're going to break that down when we come back with Christopher Sullivan, Christian Berry, and George DiMatellis. Stay with us, Express. Free game heading into Peru and Venezuela is also ahead. I don't know how you're